I'm Terry, and we're about to take you on board the carnival celebration for our week-long voyage. Show you a little bit of this, a little bit of that, and hopefully you'll be able to make the best decision for your next vacation. If you like to book and travel like us, hit us up at Addy at AddyandTerry.com. All right, so we're here. We finally made it. We're getting ready to board the inaugural of the carnival celebration. Check-in was stupid easy. Stupid easy. And now, oh, it is about to be so amazing. Look at us, here we are on Carnival Celebration, and let me tell you something, what a great ship, and it's even better now because these two are here. And we've alerted security, and we're, we're you know, just in case, martini, you know, three martinis, likes to dance. Yes. But can I just say, he looks really cold. Oh, yeah. I mean, I wouldn't, that is, just says, hug me. Can I hug him? You absolutely can. I'll hug you, you hug him. Thank you. Wish you were here. Wish you were here. Oh, oh with a real yes. hat. Yes. That looks official. Yes. I know. Yes. You're yes. going to love this ship. Oh, my God. <laughs> so jealous. <laughs> to try something new on this brand new ship is in the new Miami themed area 820 Biscayne. We stopped at Deco Deli to try out some of the new sandwiches which look amazing. We got the ham and croquette sandwich and we are trying out some of the drinks in the new bar 820 to go with them. So tell me about these sandwiches, eh? All right, so the ham croquette is like the new spin on a Cuban sandwich. It's on Cuban bread. It's got a ham croquette inside instead of actual like ham slices. And then it's got a sliced pork, some Swiss cheese, some pickles, and mustard. I got the mango 305. Terry got the key lime pie. I'm gonna have to let you know how it tastes. All right, so it's time to kick off the Carnival Celebration inaugural the right way with some cocktails. And now we are at the brand new renamed Bar Della Rosa, which is now Bar 820 right here at 820 Biscayne. And they have got an amazing cocktail menu. Now, Addie had a chance to check out the menu before we got on board. I didn't even know, but now I know. So I'm probably gonna run through all these, but to get things started, I got, of course, Key Lime Pot. And Addy got the Mango 305. The Key Lime Pie, they say, is South Florida's favorite dessert, but a little boozy. It's got Key Lime, Madagascar Vanilla, Bacardi, and Superior Rum. And of course, Addy's Mango 305, they say this one is as vibrant as the Magic City itself. Mango, orange, lemon, uh, J.F. Hayton's Mango Liqueur with a little Florida Cana, four-year-old rum. And man, both of these cocktails are good. So when you get on board, definitely give them a try. fellow cruise content creators like the Endless Cruisers, your favorite couple, MH Family Adventures, Sig Cruiser, Parker's yeah, On The Go, yeah. Vacation Vibes, yeah. and The Fab Your Life, just to name it. Yeah. I feel like we just started a competition. It's that side of the ship. Hey, it's this side of the ship.
Good afternoon. It is afternoon. It is one o'clock, and I'm actually running late because I'm supposed to be meeting with Vanessa and some of the other girls for working out. And this is the problem when you have YouTube friends that um, work out, but they also like to party really late. So sleeping in was interrupted to be held accountable to go work out. So I'm heading to the gym. Let's see who else is here. There's my girls. There they are. <laughs> <laughs> that woman right there. One quick set. She's murdering me slowly. <laughs> Send alcohol. And because y'all here, we just letting y'all know we have a group cruise coming up this summer. We haven't announced it yet. So something new on the carnival celebration is this wonderful shop right here. <laughs> Terry doesn't think it's very wonderful, but I think it's fabulous. They have Gucci and Louis Vuitton purses. Let's look around. I'm the baddest chick. I'm not a thick. I'm about my business. Chow a money clip. Sushi got it. Make that money quick. Now I can go with the bags. They don't know what they All I got is money on my mind. I won't stop till everything is mine. Nigga, I wanna say more. Got that catchy. Let's get this money. Let's get this money. Euros, dollar bills. Get in this song. My name is Charlotte, and I've already been here. We are at dinner and it is formal night and although the menu doesn't really change for formal night on carnival ships from ship to ship to ship, you can't not get in, uh, a lobster too. It's, it's just the thing you do on formal night. So as we wait to order, I'll show you what we get.
It's 80s night. day three and we're here grand turk we've been here so many times before but it's one of our favorite islands yes guaranteed um no plans we're just gonna go <laughs> meet up with uh rich and jazz we're yes. gonna go to jack's grab some food uh just see what we can see for a little bit then we're yeah. gonna get back on board tonight they got a fantastic show that we're looking forward to the most magnificent oh my man Eki back in the back What's up, brother? Can I get my this is Mr. Yeah. Melanin at sea. Stopped off going on. Yes. <laughs> Enjoying the vibes. Yes. Yeah, man. Later, guys. Bye. All right. <laughs> so we're gonna uh, go find some food. Maybe throw up a drone or something. Yes. Uh, let's go see. What's let's find out. So when you walk around the corner though, and you don't go into Margaritaville, you got a couple of little shops and yeah. whatnot. You got some options. Right here alongside. You can sit down and eat. You can grab some of these cool beach chairs. You can sit out there and take a look at the beautiful carnival celebration. And of course, most of all, you've got your bars and just a good time. I'd recommend probably, if you saw the last video and the fiasco we had on the inside of Margaritaville, I'd probably recommend that you maybe come out here and just grab a drink Stay away from all the hustle and bustle and enjoy your port day while you're here. This tequila? Hold on. This is just one more tequila. 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 Okay. This is how we have breakfast. <laughs> breakfast of champions. Let us pray together on our knees. That was life. Oh, I thought it was like straight tequila. Yeah, that was sweet like tequila. tequila. Yeah, that surprised me. Thank you. I was caught off guard with that, but that was good. If we were like others, I would play with him, but no. All right, so we've been walking here in the desert for days. Just trying to find some jerk chicken. Brother. Buddy. Brother. Send help. Help us. Send help. Oh, God. I'm just gonna. We'll be somewhere on the beach. I'm just gonna lay right here. <laughs> 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 
Just eat your chicken. Dirt chicken, it look good too. Yeah. Uh. Number one, it costs a cake. The way to see? Yes, we gotta go like this. Okay. This is the best one. <laughs> it costs a cake island. Uh-huh. Ya cha, number one. We finally made it to Jack's Shack down on the end of the beach in the Grand Turk Cruise Court. And they are known for their jerk chicken, as you saw in some of the B-roll clips, and some of their hamburgers. But Adrian, what did you get? I got the butterfly shrimp. Which looks really, really good. And of course, you know your boy had to go with the jerk. Is it good? It looked good. It's a big serving. Can't go wrong. Jerk chicken. Nice cocktail. A sunny day at the beach. And don't forget, if you want to cruise like me and Addy, shoot us an email. Addy at addyandterry.com or Terry at addyandterry.com. And we'll give you all the details how you can get here and a couple other hidden secrets here in Grand Turk. Flavorful but hot. We are in center stage, which is the heartbeat of this ship. It is where most of the production shows, including this one, the most magnificent circus, is getting prepped for right now. We can't wait to see this show. It is one of the new ones. This one looks like it's going to be fantastic. Roll up, roll up. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the most magnificent circus in a big top full of wonder and surprises.
I hope you have an amazing night. We'll see y'all around the ship, but for now, bye-bye. It's now day four, I think, but it, I think not, it's day four. It's a good day for a good day. <laughs> yes. Because today, we are in the Dominican Republic. Amber And we're gonna go and do nothing. Do nothing. This is a do nothing cruise. Yeah, it's holidays. First off, happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Happy Thanksgiving. We're about to go post up with Rich and Jazz on the beach and just have some drinks, get in the pool. A Friendsgiving it's... with alcohol. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna have a good Friendsgiving, so <laughs> let's go. Let's go. So we're gonna do something we haven't done before. We're gonna catch a ride on one of these little carts. something definitely brand new that yes. we don't normally do. We usually walk. We, we may have to do this more often though. But yeah, because this is much better than walking. <laughs> Superstar. So on, make my life, make life easier, okay? Yes. Make our lives easier. Make life easy. Thank oh. you. And catch a ride. That was, man, come on. completely worth the money. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yo, sign me up every time. That's what we <laughs> just said. We don't normally do this, though? but this is a new thing. So we're coming live with the Addy and Terry Cards Fund the Vacation Vibes in the house. <laughs> Did you cut the doorbell on your way in? Oh, appreciate that. Appreciate that. Um, so guys, zip line, so much fun in Amber Cove. Twenty dollars unlimited. You just get a wristband. Um, with the requirements, you have to be eight years old, and the weight requirement is at least eighty pounds and maximum two sixty-five. That's it. Get up on there, Addy and Terry. Let's go. <laughs> in the wild. What's going on? What's up? That's you up there. <laughs> That's gonna wrap up our day in Amber Cove, man. This is the first time we've ever just hung out in the port, but it, and it was, was lovely. It was good. Yes. Good drinks, good food. Yes. The pools, the zip lines, the hideaways. Did y'all see those cabanas up in the hill? Those things were amazing. Uh, so we're gonna get ready to get back and jump on the ship, enjoy some more today. It's Thanksgiving. And we are so thankful for each and every one of you, man. From the bottom of my heart, we love you guys. We appreciate you. <laughs> So the thing that you're going to find interesting about the Latitudes Bar is they basically picture some of the classic cocktails from different parts of the world. So here at Latitudes, you're going to get everything from your sangrias to your margaritas uh, to some of your classics, your Sazeracs, your old fashions. But they also have wine and beer and uh, let's see, I think sparkling wines as well. So as you can see in the menu, they're going to take you around the world. So you can find out exactly where your particular cocktail was created, what section of the world it's most popular in, and you got different kind. Now, I specifically came for a Pisco Sour. However, on this cruise, they don't have any Pisco. So there are two cocktails. There's the Pisco Sour, and then there's the Chicano. 
uh, that I was really looking forward to. But unfortunately, I'm going to have to wait until the next time around because they don't have any piece going board, or at least I don't think they have any yet. I started at the very top of the menu with the Tokyo Sangria, which tastes really, really good. It's got sake, it's got wine, it's got lime juice, it's got lemon. Really, really good. Terry went old school and just ordered off menu and got a Oaxaca old fashioned, which kind of fits with the theme still because this is another country around the world, right? What's in your Oaxaca old fashioned? It is uh, Reposado tequila, mezcal, Angostura bitters, and uh, agave. Ooh, very simple. Yeah, it's really a, a simple, really simple cocktail. cocktail. It's basically an old fashioned. An old fashioned, and you guys know he of... loves an old fashioned, but with like tequila a... and mezcal. Like a smoky old fashioned. Well, there you go. We'll show you more of what we have sipped here at Latitudes and show you more around the bar in just a sec. So we're getting ready to check out one of Carnival's uh, Best playlist productions called a more Cubano. Yeah, what he said. Yeah. <laughs> Rich has I'm got it. Save today. A more Cubano. I'm like. Uh, so if you guys don't know, that was one of the ports that we wanted to go to a few years back. We still haven't been able to, but maybe next year we may get a chance to as I celebrate my big, big, big milestone, milestone achievement birthday. and age. But we're about to check this show out and see what it's about. Let's see if we can. And then we're going to get ready for dinner because your boy is hungry. Thanksgiving! So I got Nona's meatballs, of course. Addy did the exact same thing. But I also ordered the mussels and clams. This is a very the mussels and clams. different type of Thanksgiving dinner. Very non-traditional. <laughs> very non-traditional. But we're here with family, so that's all good. All to the good. Smells good. Having some Thanksgiving cocktails with the fam here at Bar 820. Gonna do the mango 305, gonna do the key lime pie. Our new favorites. And they're probably, we're just probably gonna go down the whole list because Olivia, is that right? Hello, yes. Olivia from Olivia is taking a very, very good care of us. Key lime pie. Oh. Mango 305. Oh, cheers, guys. Cheers. <laughs> there you go, there you go. Looking good. Four on our wonderful inaugural cruise on the Carnival Celebration, and we are having a sea day. And what better to do on a sea day than show you all the food? We are going to go and show you all of the quick bites that you can have all over the ship. Let's go. One of the many food options that you have on board this carnival celebration is up here in Serenity. It is Fresh Creations where they make giant bowls of salads for all the toppings that you could possibly think of. Let's go take a look. All right, so this is officially our first time ever trying the salad bar at Fresh Creations and 
pleasantly surprised. They had a lot of different options up there from some really beautiful tuna to little baby shrimp to ham and chicken and pastas and a whole heap of vegetables, including grilled veggies, several little diced fruits, a whole bunch of toppings like your almonds and croutons and even healthy things like quinoa and almonds. So very good options. And this is delicious, y'all. Get you a salad. The only thing is they're only open for a short window of time and it's only in serenity. So you got to get up here when you can. <laughs> So one thing to be aware of when you're on a sea day and you come up to the Serenity, especially around lunchtime, you're probably not going to find anything that's really serene. And if you look around, this place is packed, especially with Fresh Creations open, the bar right next to it. So just plan your time accordingly. If you just want to come out, relax and chill. I'm going to lunch. Yeah, I might want to wait a little later or do it super early in the morning. <laughs> Next up in our food tour is the Blue Iguana Cantina. We're not out there right now because the Lido deck is jumping at the moment. <laughs> problems with sea day but we're inside the buffet eating our food from the blue iguana cantina i decided to go with the tacos they have tacos for lunch and they also have burritos burritos are some of our favorites and the blue iguana is also known for their breakfast burritos in the morning for the tacos we got fried fish tacos and we got chicken tacos but the other option is pork also at blue iguana you get a variety of toppings to go on top of your taco or burrito you have fresh lettuce queso you got a wide variety of salsas and hot sauces one of the best things about blue iguana cantina is that all the tortillas are made fresh daily Next up on the same deck, we're on still on Lido deck on deck 16, and next up is Street Eats. This is another free food option, or I should say included in your fair option for you to enjoy while on the Carnival Celebration. We have something from each of the Street Eats. This is from the dumplings. This is a pork dumpling. This is a stir fry, and this is loaded fries. Yay! I'm gonna start with the dumpling first. Mmm, that chili sauce is amazing. This is up your alley, Terry. And that's up my alley. Nothing wrong with a loaded fry. <laughs> in our quick eats on the carnival celebration we are at shack's big chicken and this place is a favorite among all cruisers that cruise carnival can you see why look at this sandwich y'all this is one of terry's favorites it's called the mde most dominant ever it's got shack sauce spicy pickles and of course this giant pan breaded chicken breast but if you're not a big fan of white meat like a chicken breast you could also order it with dark meat or even grilled chicken there's that so much flavor and one little bite
final stop on our Quick Eats tour on the Carnival Celebration is down on deck six at Java Blue. Java Blue has all your coffee needs, but they also have a wonderful variety of foods that are quick eats. What we decided to get today was the cheese empanada and the chicken pot pie. They also have a variety of grab and go salads like this beautiful Caesar salad here. Let's try this chicken pot pie. How cute is that? Ooh, it smells amazing though. And it tastes just as good. It's chock full of chicken. Oh my, do you see that? Those little chicken pot pies and empanadas, man, have been winning all week long. Mm -hmm. Java Blue, go ahead. Java Blue for the win. And you, oh yeah, that's hot. You had this the other day. And it looked super cheesy. Like, look at that. Cheese pull. Oh, I'm burning myself. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, of course, I've been behind the camera the whole time. <laughs> and, well, I guess we got to end it a little kicked up, spiked up. Real shakes. From Java Blue. Cheers. Cheers. Hey man, come here. How's it going? Ladies and gentlemen, this is Lee, the world's greatest cruise director for <laughs> Carnival Celebration. How are you enjoying it? I'm doing really well. I paid him to say that just so you know. <laughs> it's all set up. <laughs> hi mom, hi Nan. I'm on the internet. <laughs> So tonight we finally decided to have Emerald at Emerald's Bistro. Now, if you know Addie, you know she is a huge fan of Emerald Lagasse. She actually got a chance to have dinner with Emerald when we were on the Mardi Gras just a few months back. Now, the one thing I can tell you about Emerald's Bistro is that they have definitely given him his props. They've expanded the space. There's absolutely way more seating this time. And the way that they've arranged the restaurant is amazing. With some slight differences from the menu on board the celebration to the Mardi Gras. Like, for instance, remember when I asked Emerald, what's up with the beignets? Well, you've got beignets on board the celebration. So we're really excited to try it tonight. Uh, I think we're gonna try the gumbo, the barbecue shrimp. We're gonna try the bananas foster, of course the beignets, and who else? Who knows what else we may try later on tonight. Addie went over to the Golden Jubilee. You know, we'll talk about that some more later on in the video to get us a couple of cocktails. But uh, we're here, of course, with good friends and family, and we're gonna show you a little bit of what Emerald's Bistro has to offer on board the Carnival Celebration. We are at Emerald's on board the Carnival Celebration having dinner, and my little Louisiana heart is going crazy. We're starting with the roasted duck and andouille gumbo. Looks amazing. Smells amazing. Needs a little salt. But it's good. Terry ordered. <laughs> oh my god. It's good though. It's got just the right amount of spice to it. And I don't see okra, but it's probably in there. Big, big chunks of andouille sausage. Big, big chunks of duck. Like, look at that. That's gorgeous. Really good flavor. Terry got also a really big plate of barbecue shrimp. Show it to him. I'll let you eat your shrimp. I don't want to. You try that among try your gumbo. You gonna steal the gumbo? While you're talking about that. But, okay, but do you see this? This is gorgeous. Today, tonight. Barbecue shrimp. I was told it is not spicy because I can't do spice because I'm a wimp. But it comes with eight shrimp and two biscuits. Mmm. Mmm. Yum. Yum is right. This is my comfort food right here. I order it whenever I miss home. Red beans and rice is my all time favorite food, like, all time. It's what I eat when I feel sick. It's when I eat when I feel sad. It's like my go-to for comfort food. And Emeralds has knocked it out the park. <laughs> it is delicious. 
just the right amount of rice for the perfect amount of beans. It's got a little kick to it. No extra salt or other flavorings necessary. This right here is the box. And for $3, y'all, you get this giant bowl of red beans and rice. It's amazing. It would not be a classic New Orleans Emeralds dinner without beignets. These look amazing. Look how cute they are. We were not able to get these at all on the Mardi Gras. They were not offered on the Mardi Gras. So when we saw that they were going to be offered on the celebration, we were ecstatically happy. Terry ordered the Bananas Foster, which most of you may not know, but Bananas Foster is just flambéed bananas, and it's usually served with ice cream with a little crumble on top. The ice cream is a cream cheese ice cream, so it should be really good. Can I steal a bite? Mm. That is good. Banana is still firm, so they didn't cook it too long. That, that sauce. Oh, Jesus, that is good. And the ice cream is really good, too. So, man. This, the beignets are served with a strawberry dipping sauce and a chocolate dipping sauce, but I'm an OG and I like mine plain. <laughs> is it emeralds or even Cafe du Monde level? They're not Cafe du Monde. But they're good. You were on the Mardi Gras. <laughs> <laughs> So it's the last night on board the Carnival Celebration. We have had an absolutely fantastic week. Uh, today we uh, went out on the port for just a little bit, but pretty much came back and hung out on the top deck, had some great food, and now we're just getting ready for that dreaded day when it's time to head back. And you have to pack your bag and get off the ship the next day. Well, and until the next one. Yeah. I think that's the part everybody dreads. Everybody tries to do as much as they can on that final night. Final night. <laughs> which is exactly what we're getting ready to do. So here's something that you may not know that you can do when you're on board, especially if you have the drink package and you want to get your money's worth. So this applies whether you like beer, whether you like uh, spirits, or whether you like wines. I would suggest to you, if they don't have a sampler or a tasting, do your very own. Now we're right here at the Pigging Anchor um, Bar, and normally they have what they call a seriously sipping sampler. And inside, they've got the Jack Daniels Tennessee Rye, the Buffalo Trace Bourbon, uh, the Old Forester 80 Proof Bourbon, and the Wild Turkey Rare Breed Bourbon. So with your drink package, literally the only bourbon that you can't get that's included is that sampler itself and or the Whistle Pig Boss Hog. But if you have never tried bourbon, if you are a bourbon aficionado and you just want to go down the list, you can do that. So included in your cheers package y'all so i'm gonna start off doing the evil rare and then we're gonna do the uh e.h taylor before it's gone e.h taylor yes each yes. thank you all right so the bar is so popular they are running out of some of the most popular bourbons that they have so i'm not going to be able to try the evil rare but i'm going to go ahead and give the basil hazens a try so this is the e.h taylor bourbon and this one is going to be your basil Hayden's. Pretty good color. Nice caramel smell. This one is a little bit more of a peatier, stronger taste. Let's see. All right, so we're going to do something kind of similar to what we did on our tasting. Instead of me ringing on about what's going on, we're going to let Addy give it a try. Uh, if you've never, because I want people if, that have never tried bourbon or whiskey before that may be afraid or may not know what to order, to start down the list, taste it, do it, see what you like or if, what you don't like. Of course, get you a ginger ale or some uh, soda water or a Sprite that cleans your palate out. So the very first one we're going to let her try is going to be the E.H. Taylor, which is also one of my favorites. So drink it back at the house. You drink this at the house? Yep. Yeah. What do you smell, Chef? Butterscotch. Vanilla. It's not oak. 
Alcohol. <laughs> Get your yoga. Hot. Burn. All right. <laughs> what do you thought? What did you taste when you did it? All right, cleanse your palate, and we're gonna let you try the basil Hayden's. This mint doesn't smell as alcoholy as that one. If alcohol is word, though. It smells cleaner. If that makes sense. Okay. And more caramel versus butterscotch. All right. Got my nose running. <laughs> All right, give it a try. That one looks like it's smoother to you. You didn't immediately go to frown face. Yeah, this one is smoother. That one is like... This one... It's smoother. That one, you get the alcohol right off the bat. This one is much, 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 much smoother. So, which one do you choose? This one. That one, I don't know. So, Andy's pick my nose run. goes to the Basil Hayden's. So, after Terry made me die, I have she been revived. She wimped out on me, y'all. She wimped out. And I ordered, I still ordered bourbon. Now, this is true. But, it's fruity. <laughs> To give me something more flavorful to deal with. So what'd you get? This is the blackberry bourbon fizz. It's blackberry, but it's got blueberries in it. It's definitely bourbon. It's drinkable. But it's actionable. It's a slow but, sip for but, me. But not something that you do on a rig. Oh, no. No. <laughs> What'd you get? Because uh, I'm done with My you. tried and true <laughs> Woodford Double Oaked. This is my everyday what? sip. Is that the one that I actually liked? On the no, I don't want to taste it. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just saying. Is that the one you, that I... You like the actual Woodford. This is the Double Oak. Oh, then okay. No. Cheers. All right, and just how we started at the beginning of the week is how we're going to wrap things up right here at Bar 820 with the same two cocktails that we started with. <laughs> we really did. The mango 305 and the key lime. And this time we got some pizza. We really didn't tell you about the, the new, new Miami flavors. Slice. Yes. So we both got the new flavored pizzas that are at the Miami Slice. What was that? It didn't sound good. Anyway, we got the new flavors of, of pizzas that are available at Miami Slice. There are two new flavors that are giving you a Miami theme. Mine is the Picadillo, and it's got ground beef, saison, which is a Puerto Rican spice blend, and it's got, hold on, different types of cheeses. Gouda, that's a different cheese, and mozzarella. Whereas Terry has got the La Habana, which has got ham and chorizo, mozzarella, manchego cheese, and gouda cheese. So it's very, very cheesy. That's been his pick all week. This has been my pick all week. They also have the standard pepperoni and the standard quattro formaggi. So if you love the quattro formaggi, it's still here. And they still have your good old fashioned margarita pizza too. Perfect for late night eats because that again is the only thing available after 10 o'clock on the Carnival cruise ship. So. That's what we're getting our eat on. And of course, this drink, Bari 20, is our new favorite. And just like that, everybody, man, it's been a great week, a great week seeing old friends from Melon at Sea, yes. hanging out with our good friends, Rich and Jazzy Life, and the little ones, Life Bar and R. It's on to the next adventure. We had a blast, uh, and we can't wait until we do the next one. Yes. Click like, subscribe all that good stuff man we thank you for taking your time out to watch our video we hope you enjoyed it like she said click like subscribe 
tell a friend to tell a friend and let's keep growing this family and hopefully one day if you want to cruise like us shoot us an email we are travel advisors and we'll definitely get you hooked up get with addy at addyandterry.com or terry at terryandaddy.com we love y'all we gone bye